Hello students, in our previous video, we have been proving this theorem where we have two parts of the proof, one of which is A star B is a fuzzy number, which we have already proved in our previous videos. Now we are going to prove that A star B is continuous. So let us see the proof of this part now in this video. This is a continuation video. So if you want to understand the complete theorem, first finish the previous two videos which have been uploaded. Now we have to prove that A star B is continuous. To prove this, let us assume the contradiction. So let us assume the contradiction. So that, that is the, the contradiction is that is we are going to assume that A star B is not continuous. So let us assume that A star B is not continuous. In particular, we can assume that A star B is not continuous at the point Z0. So now because it is not continuous, it means that limit Z tends to Z0 of A star B of Z is not equal to Z0. So uh, it will be equal to, uh, if it is not equal, then we can take it as lesser than. So this will be lesser than A star B of Z0. But what is A star B of Z0? By the definition, it is supremum of minimum of A of X comma B of X. I am sorry, B of Y. So for Z equal to X star Y. This is by the definition. Then there must exist. Then there must exist. Some X0 and why not such that how do, how does they exist in such a way that the z0 will be equal to x0 star y0 and when we take the limit z tends to z0 of a star b of z it will be actually lesser than a star b of z0 and this is equal to supremum of the minimum so if the if this is the supremum of the minimum then definitely it will be lesser than the minimum of these two values so we can write here as is lesser than minimum of a of that particular value we have taken so a of x naught comma b of y naught and we also know that the star operation that we have considered. So, since the star operation which is an element of plus, minus, multiplication, division and this operation is monotonic. So, what is this monotonic? Uh, it is a sequence that is which is constantly increasing or constantly decreasing. And the star operation is a monotonic sequence. Now, because it is monotonic sequent sequence, we can say that we can always find two sequences. So, we can always find two sequences xn and yn which are bounded because it will, it, will, it, it will be closed intervals and so it will be having lower bound and upper bound and so these sequences will be bounded. And if the, these sequences are bounded, then it's uh, we know that uh, every subsequence will be convergent and uh, we and we can say that we can in general we can say that such that this xn converges to x0 and yn converges to y0 as n tends to infinity and we can also say that xn star yn will be lesser than z0 for any n. So now what we shall do, we shall choose this z. Let z be equal to xn star yn. Then what do we know? This xn converges to x0, yn converges to y0 and so we can say that zn converges to z0 as n tends to infinity. And so thus what we will have So, what we will uh, get here is, it will be limit z tending to z naught. 
and then a star b of z and this can be written as limit n tending to infinity because we can write this as a uh, star b of z n so because we have uh, we have the limit for n here and this is what actually by the definition it is limit n tending to infinity and this is supremum of the minimum supremum of the minimum of a of x comma b of x this is by the definition that we have seen where this z n will be equal to x star y so x n star y n actually um, and this will be actually greater than or equal to because supremum of the minimum value so we can have only the minimum because of that i am putting greater than or equal to so this will be greater than or equal to limit n tending to infinity minimum of a of x uh, comma b of y and because i have written the limit for n i can take it as a of x n comma b of y n and that will be equal to actually i can take this uh, minimum outside so it will be minimum of and i can take the limit within for x n so a of uh, limit x n for n tending to infinity comma i mean uh, closed close it and then comma b of limit n tending to infinity of y n so i can write it in this way so that will be equal to minimum of now what is this actually minimum of uh, a of this what is this a, this tends to x not correct so a of x not and this tends to y not so that will be b of y not and so we obtain this to be greater than or equal to so this is greater than or equal to minimum of this value but what did we observe just now we can say maybe we can say some equation one in equation one what we have observed we have observed that this limit is lesser than minimum of a of x not comma b of y not but here we have we are getting it to be greater than this which is a contradiction so this is a contradiction so from this contradiction we can we can uh, understand that our assumption that a star b is not continuous is wrong that is here we have assumed a star b is not continuous at z not is not true so because this is not true we are uh, done with the proof that a star b is continuous so hence a star b so hence a star b is continuous so therefore we have proved that a star b is continuous already we have proved that a star b is a fuzzy number and now in this video we have proved that a star b is continuous and hence we are done with the proof so if a and b are continuous fuzzy numbers then a star b will also be continuous fuzzy number hope you have understood this theorem thank you